I'm now recording footage for the boss designs of Bloodborne episode one. Hello, hunters and horror fans. My name is TB's Guy, and welcome to, well, sort of, to Bloodborne. Welcome to my PS4 menu screen, uh, where we are right now, because I have never in my life, not even once, launched Bloodborne on my PS4. It's been sitting there for two years. Three? A long time. It's been sitting there for a while, because I bought it when I got my PS4, but then I was like, oh no, what if I want to make content about it? I should wait before I start playing it, and then it just sat there, mocking me for years, until finally I managed to make my way through Dark Souls 2, and now here we are. So I don't know what's going to happen when I press X. Maybe the whole thing will crash. Let's find out together. Well, it all looks very familiar so far. Oh, okay. Online, I paid for PS4 Plus, so I'm damn well using it. Online play has a whole new dimension, blah, blah, blah. Exciting feature, blah, blah, blah. Treat fellow players with respect. Right. All right, blah, 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 controls, etc. Okay, chat, how is the sound levels? Can... Is everything... I want to put the voice up, that's for sure. Is the sound level good the way it is? Music isn't too loud, I'm not too quiet. Alles gut, très bien. Well, not a lot of options on the main screen, so... Ooh, lovely. Lovely Mesa Soprano. Right. Let's set it a little bright, because I know that this shit can be kind of dark. Especially, like, YouTube compression has trouble with darkness. Oh, yeah. Pale blood. Well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of Yarnum blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. He doesn't have any eyes. Ooh, okay. Oh god, what a- no! No, 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 we're not looking like that. No, absolutely not. Okay, I need- god, what a- no, god, who has a haircut like that? Fucking hell. Okay, that doesn't make much of a difference. Typical from soft uh, character creator. Okay, uh, uh. That doesn't do much. Where's the haircuts? Hmm. Let's see. Okay, that's better. That that's that's much like god damn. Okay. Large head. Let's go with Burly. Mature voice. Hair. There we go. Ah, no beard. No beard for the ladies. That's bullshit. Let's go with something practical.
Well, better options than Dark Souls 2, at least. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, eyebrows. Yes. Oh, monobrow. Cool. That's nice. Dun, 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 dun. Slight bit of brightening. Eyelashes. No need for makeup. Cool. I mean, presumably, I'm not going to be able to see this character much, but... Uh, Let's give her a proper jaw, shall we? Tattoos. Yeah, scars. Hell yeah. And glasses. Yes. Oh, sweet. We can have, like, Matrix glasses. Oh. Oh, cool. Yeah, this is just going to be the whole stream, guys. We're not going to do anything else tonight. We just... just... Ah, the small ones are a little silly. Yeah. Oh man, then I need black hair. I need black hair for that. And in fact, let's take it down to a little bit of blue just to cool it off. Yeah. Oh, there's some presets as well. Don't need those. Uh, pupils doesn't matter because I have cool ass glasses. Ooh, I can make them red. Yeah, real Alucard vibes now. God, that's silly. I love it. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. That works. Let's see. Origins. All that. Oh, okay, I see. Let's see. Waste of skin. You are nothing talentless. You shouldn't have been born. Well, that's relatable. <laughs> Face terrible hardships, but now confident in your purpose. Scion to a respectable line with faith in your pedigree. Experienced in war. A soldier with strength and skill. Right, so that's the basically this the upsetting of your thing. So there isn't like a deprived equivalent that just has like a completely flat stat line. No. Okay. Well, since I don't know what kind of build I'm gonna go for, we'll just go with Milk Toast. Because... <laughs> yeah, I don't know what build I'm gonna go for, and I don't know if you can respec. Actually, that's information that you're allowed to give me. Um, can you respec your character in this game, or is are you kind of locked into a build once you... Uh... You can't respec. Okay, cool. Good to know. Then Milk Toast is what we're going to go with. Ludwig, the first hunter of the Healing Church, once recruited Yarnamites to serve as hunters. This hunter's attire was made for new recruits and his excellent straightforward defense. Oh, god damn it, don't skip ahead. Linked by the resonance of bells with special encoded timbres, this inaudible burst disrupts such resonance. Oh, fire to end cooperation. Ah, okay, so that's the burning of the... Okay. Good. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you Oh! Worry. We're on a slab. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. He seems trustworthy. 
I mean, he probably is. Who knows? Uh, is that good? Just a dream. Everything's cool. Oh, no, no. Bad touch. Bad touch. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, please don't do that. No, no. I do not make out on the first date. <laughs> ah, you found yourself a hunter. Ooh. Ooh, camera control might be a little bit too skittish. Okay, let me just, uh... Controls... Is that better? Cool. So- Oh, God! A thousand people! Well, I- Hello! One thousand people watching the stream. I'm sorry to disappoint you right now, but as I mentioned previously, right now- Uh, wait, actually, can I turn the HUD off? Yes, good. Right now, I need to, um... Oh, hello. I need to rotate the camera for two minutes without saying anything, because I need two minutes of rotating camera footage for... I need it for a thing. So, uh... We're just, we're just gonna be quiet for a while. Damn it, not here. I need somewhere where the camera won't jiggle.
All right, that should do. Sorry about that. I just I need I need that for a thing. Uh, you'll you'll see. <laughs> Woeful cooperator, therefore no mercy for women. Uh, fuck you. Weird. You're in the know, right? No, I think that web series ended a while back. Uh, right. So now where do we go? There's a lit up door over there, and then there's a dark door over here. Which doesn't open, figures. Hello? Mr. Doctor Man? Ooh, God Rays. Very pretty. Okay, well, I can- I- I can judo chop people. <laughs> Judo chop! Okay, we probably don't need those messages then. Uh... Is that good? Okay, well, I th we'll, get, we'll come back later. We'll come back later. It's the. Uh, it's fine. I uh, do a buy something to hit it with the face with. No? Okay. I'm terribly sorry to interrupt. Oh boy. Don't don't want to bother you or anything. Just gonna. <laughs> ah! Right, well, so <laughs> the aesthetic is clear. I gotta say, we have this, I mean, I knew this, of course, ahead of time, but talk about your gothic slash Victorian Edwardian London aesthetic. I mean, damn. This is very pretty. Give me the thing. Bullets! Good! Wouldn't mind having a gun. Oh, they sound, they sound friendly. Boy, that thing needs some WD-40. Central Yarnum, huh? Ooh, hat! Hat? No? Aw. Okay, so this is that way, and then this is locked. Yes. Okie dokie. That guy's probably gonna try and kill me. Uh. Blood vial. Well, don't have much of anything. Let's see. No, no, no. Uh, sacrifice all blood echoes and awaken anew. Okay, so that's the... the mark. Uh, the... Uh, dark sign. And let's see. Hood worn upon the awakening to the nightmare of blood and beasts. Perhaps it's where I had to stay out of sight and travel by cover of darkness. Without memory, who will ever know? Huh. Memories again, huh? Not typical clothing for Yarnum. Perhaps it is a foreign origin. It is said, after all, that the traveler came to Yarnum from afar. Hmm. A faint memory recalled blood ministration, involving the transfusion of unknown blood. Not long after the nightmare began. Curious. Dangling upside down rune etched in one's mind, symbol of a hunter. By focusing one's thoughts on this rune, a hunter loses all blood echoes but awakens afresh. So blood echoes are souls then, ish. Kinda, more or less. Okay, cool. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Hi, if you could just refrain from trying to murder me for one second. No? 
Okay, yeah. Let's, I... I hear ya. More blood fire. I guess. Hello, hi. Oh god, am I supposed to try and punch them to death? Could I please have something with which to kill these guys? Why are there three of them? Alright, fine. You wanna get judo chopped? Yeah, this'll work. Oh, shit. No, didn't mean to do that. What did I do? Okay, this seems not intended to be the way that you kill these guys. Pardon? I have missed a weapon somewhere, haven't I? Hello. Well, what did that do then? Angry. Oh, persistent. Okay, dude! You don't see me invading your personal space. Is this open now? Nope. Yeah. Ah! Um. Ah! Well, okay then. We've hit our first roadblock. Oh, there was a ladder. Yeah. Um, what? Ah! Okay, they climb. They can climb. Okay, cool. Not helping! You're fiend. What do you mean, fiend? Fuck off! Huh? You are not wanted here. <laughs> what? Piss off! I do. I'll mess up your brain. Help me. Ow. <laughs> Who's talking? Fuck off. You Jerk. Why do I boost? Be a hunter, and not one from around here either. I'm Gilbert, a fellow outsider. You must have had a fine time of it. Yarnum has a special way of treating guests. Well, I don't think I could stand if I wanted to, but I'm willing to help if there's anything that can be done. Give me weapons. <laughs> this town is cursed. Whatever your reasons might be, you should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. Pale blood, you say? Hmm. Never heard of it. Pale blood, huh? But if it's blood you're interested in, you should try the healing church. The church controls all knowledge on blood ministration and all varieties of blood. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum lies the town of the Healing Church, known as the Cathedral Ward. And deep within Cathedral Ward is the old Grand Cathedral. Okay, but weapon, please. The birthplace of the Healing Church's special blood. Or so they say. <laughs> Yarnumites don't share much with outsiders. Normally, they wouldn't let you near the place, but... The hunt is on tonight. This might be your chance. Across the valley to the east of you, deep within lies the old... I haven't heard of pale blood, but that's your best bet if it's anything to do with unique types of blood. 
Man, hearing people coughing during the current times. Poof. Across the valley, deep okay, I, <laughs> cool. Thank you, Gilbert. Seriously, I need something to stab people with. What the hell? I, I can't help but think I must have missed a weapon somewhere. But where? Is that guy could exit the churchyard? Was there something in there that I missed? Yeah. What's up? Oh, piss off. Oh, no, not there. Not there. Ah! Excuse me. Coming through. Hello, Mr. Wolf. I don't know what you are. Oh, hello. Nope. Not what I'm looking for. All right. Uh, if you could just please not murder me for two seconds while I uh, I figure out a way to murder you, that would be good. Are you sure you don't have some means of stabbing things just lying around? Like, it's a clinic, right? You have some scalpels? Butter knife? I'll take anything. Oh, wait. Seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. Transcend the hunt. Doesn't look... Okay, well, fine. Alright. Uh... Huh? Is there some door that I'm just a stupid idiot and I'm missing? No? Lock on, release target. Right hand weapon. What weapon?! It weirds me out that I, I'm unarmed right now. How you doing, chat? Are you going crazy over there? I can't see you, so, uh, who knows? None of this looks like doors. You'd think if there were weapons around, they'd make it obvious. Hello, puppy. Pardon me. Nope. Okay, then. Big angry guy isn't still gonna be following me, is he? No? I mean, if it's a horror game, I guess it makes sense to make you unarmed for a bit, but. I'm, ex I'm extremely not in the know. No, I'm not. Okay, then. Fine. We'll figure it out, I guess. I must be missing something somewhere. Like, pardon me. That guy can't climb, right? Right? Oh, God damn it! No! Does this reset? Oh, no, wait, hang on, what?
bastard of Lauren. Remains of Lauren infected by the Scourge. Oh! Did I teleport? Hunter's dream, huh? Well, something killed these people. Oh, oh no. Oh, it's one of, uh, you're not hostile, right? No. Trade in blood echoes with messengers to buy and sell. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Stuff. Right then. Okay, let's just... Uh, special blood use administration restores HP. Makes sense. Once a patient has had their blood ministered, a unique but common treatment in Yarnum, successive infusions recall the first and are all the more invigorating for it. No surprise that most Yarnumites are heavy users of blood. I think I'm beginning to see where this game gets its name. Special bullets used with hunter firearms. Ordinary bullets have no effects on beasts, and so quicksilver bullets fused with the wielder's own blood, blood, again, must be employed. The strength of the quicksilver bullets depends greatly on the wielder's blood tinge. Is that the pale blood thing, the tinge? Molotov cocktail. Since, huh? One of the oldest hunter tools. Since the tragedy of the stuck old Yarnham, fire has become a staple in beast hunts and is thought to cleanse impurity. Pebbles, cool. Ludwig, the first hunter of the healing church, once a quoted Yarnamites, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So I guess they're merchants? Okay. A little aggressive on the sales pitch there, my friends. Let's see what else is down here. That looks like the exit. Okay. Closed. Yes, I can see that it's closed. I wanted to open it. Beautiful place, this. Oh, wait, hang on. That's, uh... That's kind of familiar. I feel like I've seen a landscape like that before. Hmm. Might just be recurring imagery of- Oh, hello! An abandoned doll. A doll? It's very pretty. Hi. The messengers offer you a trick weapon. Choose one. Trick weapons are wielded by the right hand and employ- Oh god, weapons, finally! Uh, okay, so... One of the trick weapons of the workshop commonly used in the hunting business. This saw, effective at drawing the blood of beasts, transforms into a long cleaver that makes use of centrifugal force. The saw, with its set of bloodletting teeth, has become a symbol of the hunt, and only grows in effectiveness the more grotesquely transformed the beast. Retains the qualities of an axe, but offers a wider palette of attacks by transforming. Transforming? Boasts a heavy blunt attack leading to high rally potential. No matter their pasts, beasts are no more than beasts. Some choose this axe to play the part of Executioner. Threaded ca- Oh, that's cool. Um, sufficiently deadly as a rigid bladed cane, but also serves as a whip when its blade is split into many. Concealing the weapon inside the cane and flogging the beast with the weapon is partly an act of ceremony, an attempt to demonstrate to oneself that the bloodlust of the hunt will never encroach upon the soul. Okay, we're not doing the axe, because that's boring. But, damn. Okay, so, hang on. Okay, so there's the uh, attributes. So that one scales with strength. And this one scales with, I guess, whatever the hell dexterity is. Right. Makes sense. 
Well, we've done strength builds in Dark Souls 1 and 2. I suppose it's time we try something a little bit more. A uh, little bit more dexterous, shall we? Okay, cool. Stab. And then nothing in the second hit. No, shit, fuck! I want. <laughs> I was trying to double <laughs> dual wield it. Okay, so that's... Okay. Well, hang on. I need to know what the... Right, so... Level of blood echoes... Level of insight or depth of inhuman knowledge needed to ring the special bell, but induces frenzy. Hmm. HP, endurance, strength, skill. Okay, so that's dexterity for this one. Attribute governing power of weapons. Oh. Determines whether or not you can use... So that's the... Okay. And then magic, I see. Let's see. Discovery is item drops, right? Yeah, right hand, blah, blah, blah. Poison, blah, blah, blah. Beasthood. The higher this attribute, the closer you are to beasthood when temporarily transformed. Transformed? Resistance to the lure of frenzy. The higher this attribute, the more resistance you are. Carol rune. Hmm. There's a lot of stuff here that I don't understand yet. Oh, okay, I can charge it. And there's the jumping. Okay. Hello. A notebook received from the messengers. Leave messages with these loyal servants to share them with hunters in other worlds. A firearm. Oh, okay, so... One has more blood attack than the other. Hunter firearms are specially crafted to employ quick silver bullets, fused blah, 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 blah. The pistol is a quicker draw than the blunderbuss, allowing speedier responses to attacks. The impact of this highly effective weapon counters Beast's swift movements, and its widespread is nigh on guaranteed to hit the mark. Okay, so... This is the countering system, which I know about, which is you use this to parry enemies, essentially, so... But they don't scale with anything except the... Okay, so that's basically the stat that governs how good you are with pistols. Cool. Well... If we're going with the cane, I guess let's start with the pistol. Cool. Probably shouldn't waste any bullets then. Oh, hey, there he is. I think. No, that's a different guy. Aha. Uh -huh. You must be the new hunter. <laughs> Welcome to the hunter's dream. This will be your home for now. I am... German. Friend to you hunters. You're sure to be in a fine haze about now, but... Don't think too hard about all of this. But that's the entire premise of my Just series. Go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. You know, it's just what hunters do. You'll get used to it. This was once a safe haven for hunters. A workshop where hunters used blood to enhance their weapons and flesh. We don't have as many tools as we once did, but you're welcome to use whatever you find. Even the doll, should it please you. Ew, what? Ew! This was once a wo- You're even- What does he mean by that? Oh, I don't want to know, do I? Workshop. Fortify weapon using bloodstones. Okay, so that's Titanite, basically. Repair with reduced durability. Okay, so... Okay. Huh. Right. Memory altar. 
The workshop tool for this task is missing. Hmm. To escape this dreadful hunter's dream, halt the source of the spreading scourge of beasts, lest the night carry on forever. Insight. This bath appeared linked to the nightmare, but there are no messengers. Bath, huh? <laughs> Doll? Where? Final ritual. What? Fifth ritual. Fourth. Third. Second. First. Makeshift altar. A short ritual root channel. Okay, so that's a something something I don't know. Hello, Miss Doll. Not sure I want to know what he meant by use. Fascinating, though. <laughs> Have audience with elderly, and a hunter is never alone. Don't be fooled, wondrous hunter. Okay, so there'll be a merchant or something there at some point? Hmm. Right then. Is that about it? Mirror doesn't do nothing. Storage. Oh, okay. Wait. Vile blood church. Workshop church vile blood. Workshop church vile blood. Church attire vile blood other attire. Radial blood gems triangular blood gems waning blood gems circle blood droplet blood gems carol runes. Pethumero chal Chalice, Hintertomb, Lauren is. Sure are a lot of kinds of stuff. Hmm. Okay. Now what? I have something to beat them in the head with, that's what. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, L1, transform weapon. Oh, that's how it works. Oh, I thought that was firing the bullet. Sweet. Ooh. Hitting an enemy from behind with a charge attack causes them to stagger, All right? Shooting your firearm will interrupt and stagger an enemy with probably time to their attack. Knew that. R1 when next to staggered enemy, visceral attack. Right, so that's the critical hits. After taking damage from an enemy, there's a period of time in which attacking the enemy return will restore a certain amount of your HP. That's the rallying mechanic, right? Receive assistance from hunters of other worlds by using the beckoning bell. Assist the hunters of other worlds by using the small resonant bell. Okay, so they can only... There's no invasions unless I do something? I don't know. Are there any invasions at all? Hmm. Oh, hello. <laughs> Gestures per... Oh. I see. Six axes, huh? I'll be okay without that. <clears throat> Personal effects. Hmm. Wonder what that does. Closed still. Right. Emergency quicksilver bullet replacement. Oh, so if you're out of bullets, you can make them with your own blood, I guess? Creepy. Switch weapons. Yes. Use items. Toggle items. Don't have any items. Run. 
The jump is still there, too. Okay. Right. Now what? Because, like, whatever that is, it's closed, and that just leads to a circle. So how do I get, uh... Out of here. Is there a lantern somewhere? Oh! Oh, okay, so there's a awakening headstone. No place to awaken. Okay, so those are te this is a teleport hub. I see. Cool. Let's go fight the dog, then. Wake me up! Awakening inside! Lunarium Key. Master Willem was fond of the lookout in the rocking chair he kept there for meditation. In the end, it is said he left his secret with the lake. Wonder what that means. Okay. Oh, little doggy. I have something to punch you in the face with now. Half health, huh? Wait. A blood vial. Good. Maybe I got a little overconfident there. All right, you bastards. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Well, miss... Mistook that range. Right, so... See, that's better. Hey, Quicksilver Bullets. Your turn. So I guess basically these guys are like the hollows. Or the hollow equivalent. How do I equip some items? Ah, there we go. Well, it's a cocktail. Probably good. And then... I guess that's for aggroing. Oh, kitty. I'd give my life. Almost forgot about the joke, but uh, don't you worry. So does that heal me? No. Okay, so it's not like a bonfire entirely. Giant foe waits ahead. Therefore, remember hidden run. Oh, can't open it from this side. Hit and run, huh? I'll try and remember. That coffin is all locked up. Fear man, treat blood echoes with care. I'll try. What's up? You seem aggressive. Why are your arms so long? That's creepy. I've... Again, I mean, I know this is not at all in the Dark Souls series, but I can't... I can't help but remember other very long-armed creatures we've encountered in the past. Okay, so that guy there's alive. Ah, <laughs> uh, shield. Don't you know it's a terrible idea to play with shields? Super boring. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. That's a substantial number of them, actually. 
Let me just, uh, what's down here then? The exact same number of dudes, okay. Right, so there's a patrol going around there. Well, have to imagine it's possible to beat them. Just follow them around at a distance. No. Fight me! But not all of you. Lads, you have come on. You don't open the door on a night of the hunt. Away with you. Now. Knock, knock. Okay, fine. So I guess people are not inclined to uh, offer tea. Uh-oh. Whoop. Appreciate it if you didn't do that. Whoa. Hello. Shit! Motherfucker can shoot me! Dick! You. Hey, stamina. Right, so I need to be more careful about recovering health by attacking enemies. Okay. Where was the motherfucker with the gun? Did I kill him? Cool. I should try and shoot someone at some point. Oh. Oh, that seems like bad news over there. Let's wait with the bad news for a sec. Use of terrain is effective. Indeed. Yeah, ha ha! No. Bloodstone shard. Uh. What? Ah, fuck! Wrong button. Oh, well. Oh, fuck you! Dick! Is that thing gonna come alive and kill all those guys? Kinda feels like that's the setup. Oh, no, they see me. Hello. Okay, so how does this gun work? Eh, like that. Oh, they're dispersing. Good. <laughs> That's a lot of blood. That sounds a little boss-like, okay, or at least like a big thing. So where did these other guys go? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, that works. Okay, so why did that not count as a parry? Hmm. It'll take some time to figure out those timings.
Oh, wait. Gimme. Thank you. Closed by a device. Oh, you're a big boy. Very large. Very large indeed. Wait, ho, ho, okay. He does not stagger. Okay, then. So I can't teleport directly from here, but I can teleport to the Hunter's Dream and then teleport to another. Okay, fine. Right. Let's check in with chat. Uh, oh God, there's 1,200 people here, Jesus. And there's some super chats that I have missed, I'm sure. Uh, let me just uh, go and check and see. So let's go through the super chats that have been so far. Let's see, I think of, is the time to release the abomination? I don't know what that means, recurring extra. Bloodborne can be really rough at first, so it could take you time to hit a good number of bosses, yes. Hi, Sky. An interesting fact about bosses is that some have lyrics in church Latin which help provide some insight into their bosses. Yes, I've heard about the music being a thing uh, there. I'm so hyped for this series, Rasher. Uh, your gameplay is always so amazing. <laughs> so far, it's been a little bit me running around like a headless chicken. But yes, thank you. I know you said no weapon things, but the threaded cane is very fun and can be your first. Well, it turned out it was. Euclidean Vision, 20 euros, uh, pounds, thank you. Enjoy, TB. Taste the blood. I'm gonna try. Good son. Have fun with the lovely aesthetic of the game. Prepare to hear the word blood a lot. Yes, I have I have noticed this, this, uh, this is a lot of blood. Let's see. Uh, message from the Doom Level California. Oh, yeah, I, the fire's over there. Jesus Christ. Can't wait to see what you find and what, and what you don't. No through, two playthroughs are the same. Uh, hey, I wanted to say Chris McP- Holy shit, a hundred dollars! Jesus! Sorry I missed that when it happened. I- I was busy being bad at Bloodborne. Uh, I wanted to say thank you for the near-endless entertainment insight into art design in regards to characters and positive in fact it is, impact it has had on my growth as an artist, rethinking how I draw my characters and even inspired me to look for criticism openly. I'm- well, I'm glad my work has been helpful to you. That's a very generous super chat. Thank you very much. Lulu, 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 Grayson, is that the is that the doll? Were you shouting at the doll? Let's see. Here's to more laughs. Good luck. Paranormal playwright, five dollars. Thank you, and thank you, friend, for the that more laughs. Slow to serious. You're doing fine. Keep at it. I I hope so. Thank you. King of Diggins, five Canadian dollars. Thank you. Hey, chat. Skyn will have a much better experience and a more entertaining one by playing blind. Don't worry about him being lost. It's all content. Yeah, don't worry. I'll edit all me, all of me being stupid. That'll be edited out of the episode, so I'm going to look amazing. I'm going to look like I just mastered it right away. I'm just not even going to show the deaths. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. Of course I am. Oh, recurring extra. I sent that during character creation. That makes more sense. How many bosses are in this game? Yes. The answer is yes. Good. Oh, I was teasing you during character creation. Ha. <laughs> Thank you for those super chats. That's very generous of all of you. I'm sorry to I'm I'm <laughs> I'm I'm sorry to to not be able to catch them when they happen, but right now I'm very much still figuring out what the hell I'm doing. You're banned from saying you're bad at Bloodborne now. Yes, I'll shut up about it. Don't worry. I'll shut up about it. Right. Okay. I want revenge. Like that big guy seems like one of those monsters that's intended to be kind of difficult for you to beat early on. But I want to try. Why are you already better at dodging than I am, Sky? Well, I played Dark Souls 1 and 2. I mean, that counts for a bit. <laughs> okay, back to it. 
boy, but the frame rate does dip a little bit, doesn't it? Okay, Mr. Idiot over here. This town's finished. This town's finished, is it now? Okay, can I... Do I have a... Like, if an enemy is blocking, do I have like a... Oh, yes, I do. That works. Right, so there's this patrol here. No, god damn it. Wanted to transform the weapon. I can take him. What the hell? Okay, I like the rallying mechanic. I didn't lose any health there, even though I got hit. That's cool. All right, big boy. Thank you. Oh yeah, no, that's definitely not something I'm meant to be able to kill yet. Oh shit. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Hit and run, then. I see. Whoa! Oi! The fuck was that? Dick? Get fired, jerk. Suck it, asshole. Okay, now it's gonna turn out that he wasn't even guarding anything. <laughs> yeah, in fact it is. <laughs> uh, well. Okay, then. Really? Nothing? Nothing at all? Okay, is there a lever here somewhere at least? Oh yeah, there it is. Yay, shortcut. Nice. Starting with the shortcuts already. Is it that much of a shortcut, really? Eh. That guy had a gun. And then there's this asshole. Oh, fly me to the moon. And let me play- Fuck, I forgot about him! Oh no! He had a quick. He had a quick combo. <laughs> he had a quick combo. <laughs> Lol. So there's a temptation. In this, because like when he hit me the first time, I was like, first I dodged away, and then I was like, oh no, wait, I'm supposed to attack him to get my health back. And then I ran right into his combo like an idiot. So there's a temptation there to be dumb. How much fall damage is there in this game? Not that much. Ah! Okay, fire on the ground, bad. Hello. You that outsider? Well, sorry, but I don't want anything to do with you. Trot along, will ya? 
Knock, knock. Trick or treat. Okay, fine. But there's nothing else. Nothing interesting down here. No? Alright. Oh, this guy's just gonna stay there. I'd prefer it. Damn it! Oh, you can knock them into the fire. Cool. Ah, shit. Here they come. Yeah! Fucking hell. Okay, I need to figure out what the animation canceling is on this thing. Yep. Nope. Would you stop setting me on fire? That's 2,000 blood echoes out the window. <laughs> that was probably a lot. Oh, wooden shield. Crude wooden shield used by the masses who have arisen to join the hunt. Hunters do not normally employ shields ineffectual against the strength of the beasts. Because, like, when I... Okay, so that thing... Right, so, okay, so the trade-off with the whip is that there's a longer time between when the animation ends. Like, that it's a slower thing. That makes sense. Right then. Well, just gotta get good. <laughs> Is it just me or are all these people like mutated? He didn't die. Jerk! Mother fricker didn't die. Anyway... Not that I dropped a lot, but I did drop a few blood echoes. Where are they at? Did I even drop any blood echoes that second time? Or, yeah, I did. A few, but... Well, whatever. Oh, there they are. No? Well, let's not fight the big boy again, because there's no point right now. Oh, there. There it is. Right. Can I get those guys to disperse? Like, I'm reasonably sure I'm going to get killed to death to try and fight all of them. I have a suspicion this guy will sneak up on me if I don't take him out. And this time I'll remember you. I heard you coming. Damn it. That's many dudes. I prefer fewer dudes. I 
Hello. Am I just murdering, like, citizens? Like, are these citizens of Yarnum or are they monsters? And although, at more to the point, is there a difference? Man, those long arms are creepy. Holy shit. Probably take the two of them, but I don't want to aggro that patrol necessarily right now. <laughs> oh, that guy has a gun. Oh, screw that guy. Seriously, what's making that noise? Okay, let's be a patient hunter then. Damn it, he sees me. Dick. Does he run out of bullets or does he just have bullets for days? Okay, fine, let's try another way, because this is going to take a million years if I keep pussyfooting around it. Another dude with a gun. Okay, gun dudes die first. Wait! No one said they had dogs! Excuse me. Yeah. Sheesh. off. I guess I should just shoot him first, then. Managed to clear that out. I hope. Cold blood dew. Hello! No? Okay. It's, it's the moment I go close, something's gonna break through. Yeah? Can I open it? Probably shouldn't. Probably shouldn't. Just, just let them knock. Sorry, no solicitors. Ah, God damn it! Okay. Plague-ridden rat. How dare you in use rat as an insult, jerk? Rats are cute and empathetic and very kind and very cleanly. It's the fleas that carry plague. Okay, so who's doing the knocking? 
Hi, hello. Oh, are you going to be a problem? I bet you are. Probably should be fully healed up for that. What do you have here? I don't reckon you're from round here. Well, stuck outside on a night of the hunt. Oh, you poor, poor thing. <laughs> She's a little mean. So I guess they're having a party in there or something. Jerks. Okay. Let's see. Can I spot anything else around here? Or is Mr. Big Guy over here the only monster around? Ooh. Oh, he is large. Uh, hi. I'm gonna regret this. Oh, no. Wait, maybe I'm not. Uh. <laughs> Big boy. Very large. Poor fella. Molotov cocktail and a torch. A torch? A torch? How do I... Huh. And without a timer on it, too. Okay, well, I... So I guess I just set things on fire with that? Cool. So something about the visual storytelling in this area. Like, this chained up coffin tells you something. They expect the dead not to stay in their graves. Is what that looks like from a visual standpoint. And also, just look at all the carriages. Like, these are exquisite carriages with, like, gold inlay and padded seats and... Look at this fountain. Like, Yarnum is swimming in signifiers of wealth. This is a wealthy community. Like, this is not just, like, paupers and, and, and like, working class people. Like, there's a lot of money here. Yeah, what the hell are those? Birds? Well. Flightless? Not so flightless. Okay. Pebbles. Crows, huh? But yeah, this, like, there's material wealth here. And a lot of it. Who speaks? And you can also hear that from the party inside there. It's like, while all these rather poor-looking people are running around the streets fighting monsters... Oh, shit. God damn it. Okay, we should be back now. Cool. You can also hear, like, you can hear clinking glasses, like wine glasses being struck together and laughing. And just, haha, we're inside where we're safe and you poor fuckers are out there in the streets doing the hard work of keeping the community safe. Sucks to be you! Ooh, what's this? Dog. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, fuck it, why not? Hello. Poor things. Yeah, you can just stay in your cages. I'd rather not kill dogs if I can help it.
Ooh, big guy. Very large. Where have I gotten myself off to now? Cold blood dew. I should check what that is. Used... Oh, it's it's like souls. Ah, I see. Used to gain blood echoes. Hunter is sustained by the dream, gains strength from blood echoes. They imbibe the blood with thoughts of reverence, indeed gratitude for their victims. That makes it okay. <laughs> After death, some substances crystallize, but most simply harden and form bloodstones. Creatures are afraid of flame, huh? So I guess fire is going to be especially effective against certain enemies. Oh, shit. Hello. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, come on! What's with the range? Very annoying. Oi, okay, that does not stagger him. Whoa, he can charge. Right, so... The heavy attack is the way to go with that guy. There's more than one of him. Fear, madman. I will. Man, the range. I don't do that. Very rude. Inconsiderate. Getting to try and parry. Bad Dark Souls habits die hard, I guess. Well, I have no idea where I am now since I dropped down. But hey. Oh, now I know where I am. Sweet. Okay, let's go to the Hunter's Dream and figure out how to level up, I guess? Because I, I can buy stuff from this dude, right? Yeah, blood vials, Molotov cocktails, pep mm, pebbles. I should buy some pebbles. Pebbles are actually useful. So now, hello, what can I, something must be, you must be able to do something with that doll. Oh, hey, guy's gone. Can't do anything on the memory altar. I guess I can make my cane stronger. Might as well. So now, uh... Now what? Can't do anything with those yet, I don't think. No. Neat chalices. It's not like I just go into the menu to... Hmm. Okay, but how do I level up? I don't want to lose these fucking blood echoes anymore. Do 
you need blood echoes to level up? I don't know. I just assume, because they seem to be the souls equivalent, but... So, wheelchair dude isn't here anymore. Garen, Gim, whatever the hell his name was. He's not here anymore. And I don't see any... Well, I guess I'll just spend the blood echoes on things, then. Well, I've got 20 blood vials already, so not much point getting more of those. Some better defenses are appreciated. This looks cool. Oh, that's a nice outfit. Neat. Like, really? Hmm. It's not behind the gate, either. Well, fine. Guess we'll figure it out. It's, at some point, I'm sure it'll... it'll... tutorialize it for me. So, yeah, if this was a... if, like, in Dark Souls 1, you would have expected to run into the Asylum Demon by now. But this has more of a Dark Souls 2 feeling. Like, it's not, it's not eager to throw a boss at you, necessarily. Which, uh, cool. Across the deep within, I have a fancier bit. <laughs> well, he doesn't seem to have anything new to say. Well, I've got myself a cool new overcoat. And a slightly more powerful weapon, so that's something. Yeah, yeah, cursed, blah, blah, whatever. That door looks special. Ooh. Yep! I couldn't target him, I didn't. Jerk. Nothing but quicksilver bullets here. Is that an enemy? Oh, he's got a gun! No! Pungent blood cocktail. When the hunt began, the healing church abandoned us, blocking the great bridge to the cathedral ward, as they burned old Yarnum to the ground on that moonlit night. Sounds like a purge to me. Despicable elderly. <laughs> yeah, dickhead. Honestly, I feel bad beating up a dude in a wheelchair, but if he's got a gun, then he can get fucked. Wait, fuck. Oh. Jerk. I'm gonna smash all your stuff now. Oh, is that with my bare hand? Holy shit! Ooh, oh, that's a doggo. Okay, cool. That's a doggo. So, is there anything else down here? Because there's a door over there. Does not open from this side, fair enough. Okay, doggo. Is there anything on that side? Doesn't look like it. Oh, there's two doggos. That's more than one doggo. So, oh, they do not get hurt by bullets, do they? Yay! 
Motherfucker. Well, it's not like fire hurts them that much either. What? Ow! Well, three doggos. Two doggos? Three. Two. Some. Oh, I'm gonna cheese you. More than happy to. Just, I have no problem cheesing the hell out of you. Okay. Right, so they respond to being comboed. It looks like. Like they have they have some some form of ability to break out of a stagger and attack. Which makes sense, I guess. Blood vials, blood vials, blood vials, blood vials. I could probably be more aggressive in healing then. Although, you can only carry 20 at a time, so... Right, so there's a big guy over there. There was puppers over here. And again, with all the statues, like, this is opulent. This is ridiculous amounts of wealth. Like, it's kind of dirty just how wealthy this town looks, compared to how miserable most of the people in it seem to be. Yeah, but I want the... Oh, pebbles. More bloodstone shards. Neat. So I can jump down over there. I should remember that for later. Like, again, look at this. Look at that splendor. So this is the healing church that was blocked off the bridge? Hmm. Ratatati! Ratatata! Hello, big guy. This thing is dead, right? Yes. Oh, he's got birds. Can't stagger him out of that. Can't stagger him out of that either. So when can you parry? Uh, wish there was some kind of visual indicator. I'm not 100% sure. Remember fire? Okay. I got my Molotovs. Attack from behind. I really don't trust this. Something about this feels ominous. Oh! Oh, fuck! Oh, oh! Uh, holy shit! Uh, hello? Oh, okay. What the hell? Cleric beast.
Okay, you definitely didn't like the fire. So there's the asylum demon, huh? Okay, the lock-on camera is a little useless. Shit, what the hell? No, no, not what I wanted to do. Okay. All right. Whoop. Nope. I'm not doing a lot of damage to this thing. Fire works, clearly, but... Can I parry that? I have to imagine I can't. Yeah, no, that doesn't seem to do much. Okay. Son of a bitch. Okay, at least it doesn't take away my whole health bar in two attacks, so that's something. Okay. Third? Fourth? Ah! Shit, yes! Well, attack from behind works. Is it me or is it... Okay, so... So there's this mess of fur that looks almost like tentacles. Shit. What's going on with it? What is that red aura? I will say, I don't much like the range on this cane. Well, the torch doesn't do much, does it? Okay, so you can stagger them. That's something. Not dead yet. This is very different from Dark Souls combat. It really is. Okay, running out of blood echoes over here.
can't see shit. So the idea here, I guess, is that this thing is going berserk. Like it's in some kind of rage. Come on. Okay, I think I get the gist of it. Time to stop playing fair. Ah! How do you miss? Oh, come on! Ah! Yes! Ugh. <sighs> That took a lot out of me. God damn, though. That fucking... Like, the moment I'm up against the wall, it's just like... I couldn't see shit. What the hell? So, lesson number one. Don't get caught against walls, I guess. Uh, you seem to be, uh... Hello, good hunter. I am a doll. Here in this dream to look after you. Honorable hunter, pursue the echoes of blood. And I will channel them into your strength. Oh, Emerald Herald. You will hunt beasts. And I will be here for you. ...to embolden your sickly spirit. Use blood echoes to raise stats and level up. Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Okay, so... I can boost... ...this. Right. So the question is whether I want to continue with the cane. Because that range, though, like, I like the speed. And clearly, like, with how aggressive that motherfucker was, speed is going to be at a premium. So how the speed is going to be... Not that much, okay. And stamina, much the same as in Souls. Physical defense. That increases physical defense. It all increases physical defense. Absolutely everything increases physical defense. Okay. Fair enough. Hmm. I guess in order to figure out what, what I need to build, I'll need to figure out what other kinds of weapons I can get my hands on. But for now, this probably won't hurt anything. Did you speak with German? He was a hunter long, long ago, but now serves only to advise them. He is obscure, unseen in the dreaming world. Still, he stays here, in this dream. Such is his purpose. Ah, the little ones, inhabitants of the dream. They find hunters like yourself, worship and serve them 
Oh, they're chat. Speak words they do not. <laughs> but still, aren't they sweet? Ah. They, they, ah. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. Consume insight and ring the beckoning bell to enlist the cooperation of hunters from other worlds. Silencing blank ends such forms of cooperation. Oh, okay, so insight, that would be the eye bit on the top right there. And that's the thing that allows me to do summoning. So you're limited in terms of how many you can summon by... Hmm. Consume insight and ring the old hunter bell to enlist the cooperation of old hunters. Are there going to be more new stuff around here? Hey, hello. Buy with insight. Make trades with messengers using insight. Small bell discovered in the old underground labyrinth. Its ring resonates across worlds, and the first hunter used it as a special signal to call hunters from other worlds to cross the gap and cooperate. This bell resonates with its counterpart, the beckoning bell. Ring to help hunters in other worlds. Online use only, cannot use this item offline. Mature blood cocktail that releases pungent odor when thrown that attracts bloodthirsty beasts. A precious tool in sadly short supply. In Yarnum, they produce more blood than alcohol, as the former is more intoxicating. Dark? Okay, I guess I'll figure out what those are for later. Again, how do people keep dying in here? Whoa! Is that a... Is that a wagon wheel? Did you just stab yourself? What the hell? I guess I found out how he died. This <laughs> is like I wanted. So do they have new, new items? They do, in fact. Use weapons in both hands while illuminating the dark. Ooh, I'll probably want that. Counteract poison, blood vials, everything me. All right. Let me just go and look at something. Let me check uh, storage. Right, that just has bullets in it. Right, cool. Okay. Little low on blood vials right now, but we can handle that. I hope, so long as we don't run into any more bosses immediately. And this remains closed. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, that was the Cleric Beast. An interesting creature. One giant arm and apparently completely consumed with rage. Now, since we know very little about the world of Bloodborne so far, except that something, something, blood, something, something, hunt, beasts, beast bad, yarn him, full of beasts thing, I don't really know what there is to be said about the cleric beast, but fortunately, that's also not my problem. That is for Future Skyne to figure out. So, uh, in case you want to say something about it, Future Skyne, I guess now is the time. Cool. 